Whatever man has is the result of his own efforts and he will soon see his endeavor in full form. In this video, I'll share insight about rethinking and enhancing our relationship with self-confidence. Why is it one of the top self-help subject globally and why most people don't have the least clue about it? Stick around. Self-confidence means being aware of what the Creator has given us of noble characteristics and endeavoring accordingly to achieve what will benefit us and equally, if not more important, benefit others. We need to understand that self-confidence is an acquired characteristic. What does that mean? It can be developed. However, we also need to differentiate between self-confidence and arrogance. Self-admiration is what takes us towards arrogance. On the other hand, if we ignore self-confidence, we'll become lazy and unsure of ourselves. We'll be nervous all the time, we won't know what to do, and we will be immediately causing confusion with other people. As in other things in life, balance is the key. Having self-confidence does not mean that we don't need the help of our Creator. And it does not mean that we don't need advice from our friends, our family, our colleagues. Again, a balanced approach is the key. Here I pose a question. What is the thin line between self-confidence and arrogance? If we put our trust in our Creator seeking help and strength from Him, our self-confidence will boost. If we search out our strengths and weaknesses, and we, we are thankful about our strengths and we tend to address our weaknesses, not ignoring them or uh, not being okay with them, this will boost our self-confidence. Also, we must never think or say that we are no good, we will never improve and we'll never be successful. This will only rewire our brain in a negative way and our brain will keep on coming up with negative thoughts and there will be nothing productive. We should also surround ourselves with confident people and also be a source of confidence around others. Remember, a person alone, no matter how strong he or she may be, is still alone. We are social and we need each other. We should avoid distractions from previous failures and present challenges. It's better to focus on the next 10 years than to cry and sob over the last 10 years. Let us share our stories here by commenting as in, are we satisfied with our level of self-confidence? Would we like to change it and if so, in which direction? Is it better to stay humble or be haughty? And why? Is a conceited attitude or adapting attitude helpful? This is your life coach Muhammad from MuhammadFarooq.com. To enjoy more quality content such as this video, subscribe to this channel and press the bell. Like and share this video so you can benefit others. Leave your comments below as I would love to hear your thoughts about this particular topic in this video and also what other topics you would like me to cover in the future. Remember to be responsible and respectable. If you are interested in adding value to your life or adding value to others' lives, do check out our blog at muhammadfarooq.com. Until next time, stay blessed.